I'm Donna Conrad at Snook High School where all 10 state championship basketball teams were honored Friday night, 40 years after their magical run came to an end. Former teammates and friends were reunited as players and coaches from all 10 championship teams that spanned across three decades were in attendance. This is a family thing. When we won them state, it was all about being a family. And for me, just look behind me, you see all these guys, a smiling face. Some of them hadn't seen each other in 40 years. But I just thank God that he allowed us to come back with health and strength and to be able to see this occasion. Because this is a wonderful occasion to see our teammates and, and, and the ones that started this, this run that we had seven in a row was awesome. So it's just an awesome feeling to see you guys tonight. Not only does Snook still hold the record for most basketball state titles in Texas high school history, but their run of seven consecutive championships from 1978 to 1984 has stood the test of time and remained unbroken. Yeah, that feels good to, to still hold that rocket there, you know. And uh, I kept looking back and I say, you know, the way they play today, three-point shoot and all that stuff, I really don't think that rocket's going to be able broken because it's hard to win seven titles in a row. And, uh, you know, I don't know any team that do it. What shined even brighter Friday night than honoring their dynasty was just how much they cherished the relationships that came out of playing for the Blue Jays. We're just a one big family. And most of all these guys that you see in here have successful careers. These are really, really good guys, man. And we learn it from right here. When you, when you play for Snook, you, you play with respect, you play with class, and you play with honor. So that's what these guys do today. These are some wonderful guys right here. I wouldn't change anything with them guys in their lives for the world. While this current Blue Jays team is on the bubble to make the postseason, this ceremony tonight could be just the thing that propels their future success. Reporting in Snook, I'm Donna Conrad.